Hi there, it's me. Um, just a quick update. Um, I'm going to post this um, today, hopefully. It's just a little update to find out what's going on. Now then, um, we're on it, right? Okay. Um, first of all, do you know I'll be working on two projects the Victorian Skaters and the Samurai? Well, I've sort of come to a not a block, but I've realised that with one of them, what am I? Right, look at the camera. No, yes, sir. With one of the, with the Victorian skaters, if you remember, we did that vase. Well, if you remember, I did that vase on the the transfer um, thing. Well, when I came to, um, I don't know why I'm scratching my head because it's fine. Um, when we came to doing it, what would happen is I put the skaters on, and it kind of overshadowed the. Hang on, let me show you. I put that there like that. Can you see? Then I move this round. Sorry, I'm having to shuffle. Can you see? Right. If I tilt this down a bit, except you get my great big Eddie in the way, don't you? Hang on. Let's get some light on. So that I've got a better idea. Right. This bit here. Um, you still. I'm going for. Oh, sorry about this. Hope you can see it. Anyway, this bit here was being overshadowed by one of the figures that went here, and so I didn't want. I felt I didn't want to cover this up completely. So I've decided to put this on the back burner, and I'm going to use another board. Now, with this other board, I've decided to use, I'm just going to go crazy with it, because I found, let me just put this straight, I was doing a bit of a dig around the other day, and I put this there, see, because look, see, this is the figure that I was going to put on, and if I just take this off here, so, see, that's the, the, the board, so when I came to put the figure on, the figure was going there. Well, it spoiled that, and so you wouldn't be able to see it. So that's the reason. That's the rationale for between doing the uh, going behind and doing something different. So, so I'm gonna put that back there on my easel. So I've dug out an old board which we had a bit of a play around with, and I'll just put that there for a minute. I've come across some, you know, I was just tidying up and i just come across some things. Well, I've got okay, these, which are sticky backs, you know, they just peel off. And I've not, I bought and I've never used, I'm not, well obviously I've never used them because they're still here, but you see they just peel off. Can you see my fingers in the way? There you go, they just peel off. I thought, well, I've got them, and I've also got found when I was doing some work for somebody um, some. These are gold. You rub them off, and there's the gold. So I've, I found these, and I thought, well, why am I not using these in some way, shape, or form? So I thought, well, yeah. You know, I mean, they're good. These are Robbins foil 3D deco, and these are f made by um, G -G -G -G, and of course, I can't find a name. Um, anyway, that's the the makers. So I thought, yeah, dig them out, play them, and of course. I used to watch a shopping channel. Oh, and there's more. There's like birds and flowers and more flowers. And you can't see a single thing because of the reflectiveness, can you? Right, there's some birds in it. Then there's some hearts. And we've got some more hearts, love hearts. Some butterflies. Oh, he's got butterflies. Some more butterflies. Some flowers. 
all by the same company. And, yay, 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 dandelions. I love them, but they're murdering them. I hate them in the garden. I absolutely loathe them in the garden, but when it comes to doing pretty, you know, nice things, can't beat a dandelion on. Anyway, I, as I said, I used to watch this sh shopping channel that did craft, and I got into so much debt buying so much crap. It's unbelievable. Anyway, some of the stuff that I bought, I mean, it's good. You know, this stuff here that I've got here is by, it's all basil, basil, you know, cardstock. But, you know, it's just stuff that I thought I'd never buy. But, like this. I've got it in every colour under the sun, practically. I don't, I'll, I suppose I'll get round to using them. But, there are some nice bits here that I think are good. I mean, let's have a look. I've got the, these are good. I like these. These are the swirls. Once glued into position, let's see if I can take one out. Um, there we go. I mean, once glued into position, I think. Let's just take one out. Of course, if you take one out, you take 500 out, don't you? Um, there we go. Let's have a look. Come on. So, they're like that. But now, I mean, the, you can cut them out if you had a, you know, a die cutting machine. I mean, there'd be no problem, but hey ho. As I say, you get sucked into these uh, these uh, chat this you know these shopping channels, and it's just so easy to click, 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 and then before you know it, you got your bank manager asking you, um, "Do you actually know what the concept of banking is?" To which I reply, "Yes, you give me money." To which he then replied, "No." You have to give us money before we can give you money. And I thought, oh, that's a new idea on me. And, of course, everything's now, oh, sod it. I'll do it later. But, yeah, I've got loads of little different bits. It's good cardstock. But why do you buy them? You just get sucked in. Anyway. So, I've decided that, see I can't put that, oh, put that over there, I'll tidy it up in a minute. Put that there, and put that there. Sorry about this, I'm ranting. Put that there, I'll tidy that up. So, I've decided, I dived in, do you remember when we did this board, with the uh, um, thingy? Uh, plastic wrap I mean can you just about see it so I've dived in picked this one up and what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna put the skaters on this one I'm gonna build it up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to oh, why am I coming on what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do yes Alan they know what you're gonna do because you're going to tell them as you're doing it so I'm gonna put the camera up there and then I'm just going to start laying down some papers, just, you know, out of the dictionary, some imagery and everything. So I'll build this up and then we're going to hopefully then colour it with a glaze or two, try different colours glazes, maybe a yellow, a red, and then sort of build it up. And then hopefully then when we come to putting the skaters on, it'll be more of a imit rather than losing things. And I don't know whether I'm going to try and do um, a colour transfer. That's something I'm toying with. Whether should I do it with this project? Answers on a postcard, please. To the usual address. Um, so I'm thinking mm, colour. Because I've got I've got my colour laser. The thing's supposed to work with laser, so. I might try, might try with the colour lasers because we know the black and what the black and uh, white laser one works. 
So we might try the colour laser one and see how that one works. Fingers crossed. So we'll do that. So I'm going to shut, 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 shut. Hang on. Just let me get my denture grip back. Okay. I'm going to shut up shop now and then I'm going to put this up there. Or something like that. Okay, look. Speak to you soon. Ta ra! Oh, by the way, I hope everyone's well. Hello, it's me. Now, do you remember? I think in the last video I showed you that the canvas that I was going to use. I didn't want to use because I would have been blocking things on it so I've dug up an old canvas an, an old MDF block that we remember we played around with and I've sort of been in my little collection and I went and ripped and got pieces of paper um, some of them got bits to read I've tried to find some imagery roughly around the same time so they all fits together and I've got my pearly king and queen here on the cart so it kind of feels in the Victorian so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start to lay down so before I do anything this is how I like I always prepare my brush just I've got baby wipe here a bit of water and I just get the, the brush wet and damp um, because that will then help you with the glue it'll help you, you sort of when you pick it up you're able to use it and manipulate it so fold that there let's just put that to one side right let's have a look where we're we going to put this these were this wording sorry these uh, pieces of paper um, I don't want it to be in a uniform pattern it's not what I'm after um, boom, 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 boom. Um, let's just go let's just use that I quite like that rather than can you see how that how we've gone from this to that I think that's 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 a little bit more interesting now. So we've got pieces of I try to actually get some pieces of paper that will with the wording well you can read it, it kind of goes with what I'm doing, it's like spectacles, speech, hair and exercise. I don't know if it's to do with whether it's me where I was sort of thinking too literally and too think you know but I just thought it'd be interesting to have some wording so when people actually came up and looked at it they could read so, you know they could read a little bit I don't know I don't I think that actually is gonna no I don't like that Ooh, right okay if you can see we've we've done a lot of got a lot of papers ready that was, that was nice I think the uh, the fairy has arrived. Right, let's just do all I'm doing is I'm just ripping around the the image. Let's just see how this looks, shall we? Well, it's coming together. I'm not quite sure how it is, but I think actually this. No, I don't want that. No, they'll say that for something else. But then I've got. Right. Maybe I'm thinking a bit too much in this. Unless you just go with the flow. Oh, the trouble is you can't pick it up. Right, 
Right. Right. Alan, just go with the flow. I'm using a <coughs> decoupage glue. So that will glue our paper down, but when we use it on top it won't form a barrier so that it's not able to be used. So let's just Go right then, come on. Stick you down. Because I know I will be putting a glaze on top of this to knock it back. You know I like my glazes. if we go too over the the edges you could always wipe it off with a bit of with a baby wipe and then just wipe the surface if you feel we're using too much glue on it so Once again, I'm just going to wipe around the edge, but push down on it. Fingers crossed, we won't have to uh, um, use the glue again and stick it down. There we go. These were all out of, some of these were out of old magazines. The text is out of a, my favourite, if you, if I can say one thing, if you go into a charity shop or a thrift store or whatever, if you ever come across dictionaries, buy them. They are brilliant. This one is out of a medical um, dictionary. It's like an old, um, you know, there's an old book that uh, said if you had a cold you did this and this was how you treated, you know. Like, it's like this little bit here is all about dark hair. It says dark hair may be improved in colour by the addition of a little henna into the shampoo. This is most conveniently done by using a ready prepared henna shampoo powder of good quality or by making an infusion of henna leaves in the same way as the chamomile infusion described above. So, it's, um, it's, it's always, I think it's, um, it'd be interesting to put things down that people can, when they come up and look at it, so they don't just look at it visually, but they're the things that um, you're able to sort of read into the project. It may be you may, you may being a little bit too, uh, you know, what's the word, arty farty, but I don't know, I think it's nice when there's different elements for you to look at and for you to see. So, and of course, these will be knocked back. You know, and brought into the second. And I'm being, as I'm pushing these in, I'm being quite firm. This, this, this you know, this is an old glue brush, the brush that I use for glue. So I'm, you know, I'm working the glue right into the edges. There we go. All right. Well, look, I've got one more to do here. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. And there we go. I'm not bothered if it moves a little bit. 
while I'm gluing it so it finds its own space. Right, it's a little bit um, up here. Maybe we could do with a bit more glue. There we go. There, I think that's okay. And as you can see by me cleaning the edge anyway, can you see how the some of the paint from underneath is catching and it's darkening the lines, which I find quite interesting. So I'm now going to let this dry. I don't think I need to add any more card or paper. Let's have a look. I do like this though. You know, I do. I mean, would Clint go? Clinton would actually go with the era because. Um, yeah. I've talked myself into it. So. Let's put a bit of Gustav Klimt into our project. And there we go. Right. I think that's good enough. We've we've taken the next step. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this dry. As you can see there's the bits. I'm going to let this dry, then what I'll, we'll come back and we'll put a glaze over it. I'm not sure what, we might do two glazes or three glazes, I'm not too sure yet, but we will see how the mood takes us. And when these dry, hopefully it will take us on a journey that, you know, that, I like art that takes you on a journey. So you start off with something and then you let it grow. I don't, sometimes if you have a preconceived idea about what you're going to do, you can, you can be left disappointed. So I'm just going to let this dry and I'll come back later and we will do the glaze. So I'm off to wash my brush. So I shall stop this now and I shall come back in a bit. Okay, bye for now. Hello there, me, I'm back again. Now then, I've left these overnight, so they're all nice and dry. And I've decided I'm going to use three. I've got cadmium orange hue, burnt sienna opaque, and raw sienna opaque. These are the three colours to that we're going to use to knock these back. And I've also got my uh, glazing medium. So, as per usual, let's just take a, our second brush, but we've got our first brush, and we're just going to let this, um, I don't know, there's a word that I'm trying to get in my head to use, you know, that we're just making this ready, as per usual, to use. Right then. Um, so let's go with um, let's go with the dark one first, shall we? No, light one first. Always start light, then build up. We're not going to use a lot. That's all we've got there. That's all I'm using. You'll be surprised how far that this goes. See that just that little bit. That's all I'm using to start off with. Then I've got my medium, which is sealed up the top, but that's now done. And we want to do equal parts. Approximately equal parts. Well, yeah. Let's go a little bit more. Let's go a little bit mad. Then we've got a, I've got a mixer here. I can use my uh, brush if I want, and I will do, again, but I just want to get this started, get it just nicely mixed in. As you can see, the colour and the hue has not changed, 
it's still the same it's just that with the using the medium it's just sort of stretched it this is this is from what I can gather this is what is inside the paints when they mix it so that this hasn't got any pigment this is just the is it the binder I think it is but no doubt I'm going to be proved wrong as I have been on more than one occasion right I shouldn't really have mixed it while I was on here but that's one that we've done whoops and of course I get it all over everywhere bar where I want it. Then let's mix the darker one here. Sorry, my I'm just rebooting my computer. So again, the blob there. And then equal parts with the well, roughly equal parts. Doesn't matter if we go a bit over. Get our mixer and then let's just start mixing this up again. And once again, by just using this uh, glazing, it's not affected the the colour. It's still the same. Still the same colour now. I'm being very risky doing this. Um, but a bit of need another brush. So, as for the first one, let's get our brush and just give it a condition so that it's it's ready. I, I prefer working with a slightly damp brush. It just helps the paint move up a little bit. So we've got that brush, we've got that brush. Da, 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 da. Go on, while we're doing it, let's just mix our last bit. Now, I don't want a lot of it, I just want a little tiny touch. Because this is just going to be a little accent. Accent. Not accident, an accent. Is that the right word? It's just something that's going to be there as a... Not a secondary thought, but as a sort of... It's not going to be there in the... The back, it's going to be in the background if you know what I mean so once again we're mixing it and now I'll probably use the same brushes for this because we're just going to be picking up little bits and highlighting them so right so let's just move that to one side And then let us start. We just want to add a little bit into our brush, not a lot, just a little bit. And then decide where we're going to go. Right, let's go around here. As you can see, it's just knocking back the. It's taking the, the you know the whiteness away, and it's just sort of knocking it back a little bit. I'm going to be. It's not overpowering the colours that's below. Everything's still coming through. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover these first with the you know, like the main colour that we've decided to do. And then I will then take the secondary colour and then highlight with the uh, with the third colour. As you can see, it's just looking that little bit more. If I just come in a bit. Um, if I just show you a piece here, can we see this here? There we go, that's perfect. Right. Can you see how white it is? Well, not white, but how. There we go. Let's just see if I can get a little bit. I'm just trying to be finicky now. Just by adding just a little bit and moving it around. And we're just sort of. We don't want any straight edges where we can see it, so just sort of push it up there, you know, push it around. It will move, but what we want to do is that we just want to sort of move it. We don't want to have a like a, a different a colour there, so that it looks. Because um, I mean, if I just did this right, okay, let me just see. 
I don't want that. Can you see the difference? We don't. So by just taking it out and moving it, let's just come out a bit. By just moving it around, bringing it over to here. There we go. Doesn't matter if we go over to the other side to the pictures, other bits of. Uh, Oh God, what's the word? I'm sorry, I'm sort of a little bit sort of brain freeze at the moment today. Our Gizzy has learnt how to climb a tree and climb over the fence. But the point is that there's no way that she can climb back over the fence. So we have to go for a long walk to try and pick her up. But you're not really seeing anything there now because I'm just... Uh, so we have to go around for a long walk to pick her up and she thinks it's a great game now sometimes with this we can add a bit more to darken it but if you're not happy then just take the baby your baby wipe and sort of knock it back a little bit you know you Nothing wrong with using your baby wipe as another brush. You know, so bring it round. Use the, the brush. You know, use your baby wipe. Don't think it's just for cleaning, you know. It's a great tool for using for uh, uh, painting is a baby wipe. So I've just, I've just put a load on that bit there. So if I just turn this around here so that we can see and I will zoom in. As you can see, we put a lot of paint there and we're just going to use the baby wipe. And then we're just going to, you know, stipple it, move it off, sort of drag it. Now the baby white is great for when you're using the second, you know, the, the darker colour on top, which you can then use to sort of go around the edges a lot more. But can you see how we just by using the baby wipe, we've left nice little bits here that we wouldn't have got if we'd used the brush. So do not be scared of using your baby wipe as a second brush. Right, let's start thinking about adding a bit of the darker glaze now. Now this is going. To, this this can be quite scary, so let me just get round here so we can see, and I'll zoom in a little bit. Let's go here, there. Right, this can be a little bit scary when you're starting to use a darker glaze. So let's just put it down a little bit here, and then just bring it across. Yeah, don't. Can you see how that is so dark? Now, don't panic this. And then just blend it in. There we go, like this. And then let's just scrub at the edges because we don't want them to be the pattern there can you see just by using the little you know the baby wire we've just left a little bit here to you know show the dark so when we come to use say the orange we're just going to put a little bit of orange there and a little bit of the orange down here i think so that take the Take a different side because we don't want to mix the orange up with the rest and then just go. Just give it a delicate edge. You see how we're building up the colour. And sort of bring it in. There we go. You can see how we've added colour and definition to it. I turn it that way. You see, 
there's still some of the original coming through here but we've got the dark a little bit here and then we've got just a little faint touch of orange around one side right so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to switch this off now and carry on doing you know the little bits that I've done here then what I'll do then is that I will then do a final walk around walk through after I've done everything so I'm just going to put it on hold now and I will show you when I've finished right there we go I've done all the glazing that I wanted to do as you can see we've knocked everything back um, I'll just clear get in closer so that you can see it what we've done um, and I've got a completely clean plate from doing everything because what I had left over I've gone over the whole of the board because you know us crafters we do not like to waste a single thing now this has given me a good background to start working on I'll turn it around that way so you can see everything and uh, I'm now going to start building using stencils so that's the next stage what I'll do is that I will try and get this up, up online um, to show you what I've done so far with this project and how everything's changed completely and then we'll take it from there so I'm going to go and wash my hands wash the uh, the palette that can be thrown no it won't it can be saved what you doing be thrown. all I do is I just uh, clean my brushes in it get as much off as I can and that way it can be used for something else. I don't know what, but it's less paint down the down the uh, sinkhole, isn't it? So let's just. I've noticed one thing though with this glaze; it is quite sticky. Now this is the thing, so it is a little bit. So I don't know how it's going to react with this baby wipe, whether it will make it stiff, I don't know. It's something I'm going to have to see, but I've got rid of most of the glaze off here. So it's going to be easy to clean. And I now have something that, when dried, could be cut into some flowers or some stencils, uh, not stencils, some flowers or some little bit of uh, interest that we should use on our uh, project. So, that way, I'm now going to say bye for now. I'm going to go clean up and get ready, and I'm about to do some digital work now. So, take care, and I shall see you soon. Bye for now.